On Wednesday, we found out that the U.S. home buyer mortgage demand spiked to an 11-year high as rates hit another record low. Canadian Consumer Price Index fell 0.4% on a year-on-year -year basis in May. The UK inflation hit a four-year low. And Germany urged the EU to plan for a possible No Deal 2.0. Welcome to the Tikmal Update. I'm Kenna Daniel, the founder of the Investiva Movement. Make sure to subscribe to the Tikmal YouTube channel and support us by liking and sharing this video with your forex trading friends. On Thursday, we'll be eyeing the interest rate decisions from Switzerland and the UK, as well as the inflation rate from Japan. Today, I'm looking at the euro dollar pair, which headed back down after hitting the key resistance level at 1.14 last week, unable to break above it for the fifth time since February 2019. If history is bound to repeat itself, we could see a bit of more medium term consolidation for the pair, with the key support levels laying at 1.11 and 1.07. Will you be taking a bearish stand on the pair anytime soon? Head over to the comment section and let me know. Of course, trading in the financial markets involves a risk of loss and you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel. I'll get back to you with more updates tomorrow.